Sky. Yes, you are hearing correctly. That said, welcome to Fly Sky. This is the new radio from Fly Sky, the ProArt PA01 running Edge TX and with the option of AF HDS3 protocol or Express LRS. This came from Banggood and as it came, it is set to Express LRS, which means that I can use this radio for all of my models straight out of the box. If I wanted to use FlySky AFHDS3 receivers, uh, I would need to connect the radio to the online configurator, switch the firmware over to AFHDS3, and then I could happily use it with all the AFHDS3 gear. But uh, I'm going to use it as Express LRS because that is uh, pretty covers pretty much all of my models. This is a very good move by FlySky. I think they're going to have a lot of success with this radio, giving the option of their own protocol as well as sort of the most popular protocol for FPV flyers these days. It's a colour screen. It's not touch screen, but it's a very nice bright colour screen. As you can see, we have flashy LEDs. We have four function buttons that are fully configurable. The button layout is a little bit different to the other radios, like Radio Master. We have four control buttons down here. Uh, we have return, model, page forward and page back, and the scroll wheel. Really nice Hall Effect gimbals. The gimbal sticks can be removed and stored in the back of the radio. On top, we have headphones, USB-C, charging and data, and trainer port. Uh, an antenna that comes out, rotates around and tilts. Latching on-off switch there, three position switch there, another three position, a momentary switch there. Then we have a couple of sliders here, very nicely positioned. And a couple of momentary buttons on the back there. So it has all the functions you could possibly need for fixed wing flying or drone flying or whatever. Uh, seems to be very nice for pinching, although I'm not a pincher. But for thumbing it is just a very comfortable feeling radio. Nice and compact size uh, with lots and lots of inputs. The flashy LEDs can be turned off of course, that's just a selection in the uh, special functions area. Nano style module bay on the back there. And you remove these rubber hand grips to put the batteries in, I'll show you that. There is also an accessory charging bay which will connect on there, uh, can directly power the radio externally and charge it up as well. We've got a, a JST plug in there. Maximum output power on Express LRS is 500 milliwatts. It's set from the factory at 100 milliwatts but you can change that in the Express LRS Lua script. Now there's no system button, so to get to the system menu we push the scroll wheel and we get this menu here and we can scroll across the radio settings. Then we can find the Express LRS Lua script uh, and SD card radio setup. I might turn off the startup sound, I might uh, reduce the splash screen. Different themes to choose there. And here we can turn off the LEDs, which I might do because I'm not a flashy LED kind of guy. There we go. Setting up the trainer, hardware checking, and the version. So it's a 2.11.3 self build of Edge TX, so probably not available in the updates just yet. It'll be in the next version, of course. And back to the beginning. And the model menu. We can set up customizable switches here to do, uh, we can put them into different groups, that's these four here. Put them into different groups, uh, make them two position or latching or whatever you want uh, and decide whether the lights are on or not. I've covered those in other videos so I won't go through that. Heli setup page, flight modes, inputs, mixes, outputs, curves, global variables, logical switches, special functions, custom Lua scripts and how to set up your telemetry page. And as it comes, 
it is preset with a telemetry page, uh, a Lua script telemetry page as the second screen. So all very good. Here's the Express LRS Lua script. You can set up your particular settings there. I might as well do it right now. Uh, mine, I use the 100 full standard telemetry ratio, uh, one on 32. Switch mode, 16 channel rate divided by two. Model match off, transmitter power, and I would put it up full, 500 milliwatts, and on dynamic power. Has an internal fan for cooling, and it uh, will come on at whatever you set there. Uh, 250, we'll leave it at that, and back. Now, to set up your passphrase, you would enable Wi-Fi, and then go online, join the Express LRS TX access point, do your normal setup in the pop-up Wi-Fi page. Here's the box it comes in. It's quite a sturdy box. As you can see, supported by HTX, Express LRS and AFHDS3. Foam pad there that you could use for uh, turning the radio over and working on it. Here's the radio fitting in there. With the, whoops, I've lost a, lost a gimbal stick. Sticks hidden in the back there. Little quick start guide. Uh, there is a downloads page on the FlySky website where you get a, a more thorough instruction manual and firmware downloads and things like that. USB C cable. And in the little baggie, QC certificate, little Phillips head screwdriver, a little uh, JST connector there, a few stickers, got a screen protector there, and this one comes with the TMR receiver, which is AFHDS3 protocol. As I said, you would need to switch the firmware over to the AFHDS3 protocol from Express LRS to use that one. Now I've set up my passphrase on the radio, so I just want to do a quick check that it is going to connect to an Express LRS receiver. Plug in a servo, plug in some power. Turn the radio on first. So we've got a solid light on the receiver, got a full signal there, and we have on action there so that is bound up straight away just as you would expect it. We go and have a quick look over at the FlySky website. This is the ProArt PA01 aesthetic masterpiece of remote controllers. Just have a quick look at the specs. Wireless protocols AFHDS3 and Express LRS switchable between the two but not in the radio you would have to connect it to the uh, online configurator to do that. Body weight, 343 grams without batteries. It is, uh, yeah, decent weight for the little radio. And on the downloads page, you can see the full user manual, which is uh, a big, impressive manual. Quick start guide, UF2 firmware file, SD card file, all the, info, all the audio sounds and theme images and things like that, and release notes there. Now, I'll quickly show you how to switch firmware. So we just plug the... USB-C in and we get the choice of joystick storage and USB serial VCP so we select the VCP and then using a Chrome browser it doesn't work with Safari we go to firmware switcher dot dot com slash en and we get the open source assistant popping up uh, there you can change radio firmware on FlySky radios that do have that function uh, but we're going for the RF firmware and then you can choose ELRS or AFHDS3. Let's pretend we're changing to AFHDS3, which I'm not actually going to do because uh, I want to keep mine on Express LRS. Uh, then select transmitter, device, firmware version and uh, method of flashing. Next step. Next step is to connect the device. So click on connect device. The PA01 should show up here on a serial port. Connect. 
connected so now next step would be start flashing uh, which I'm not going to do so pretty simple really and it's great that it's an online configurator because it means that uh, you can do it on Macs and PCs all right let's try the PA01 out in the field with my goose that's turned up full brightness so that's as bright as we can have it that's not too bad actually all right let's continue on final check everything's okay all right let's go Armed. We're up in the air. And we're in control. We can ease it down a bit. Now we're flying. Let's get settled. Radio feels good. Wind's a bit in the wrong direction for the goose. But that is flying nicely and the radio feels good. Nice and light, easy to use. You do have to use rudder with this goose. But at least uh, it's a bit better than uh, the other day. It's still a fair bit of wind. And we're in a bit of turbulence as usual, but we're going well. Radio feels very good actually, nice and light and easy to uh, handle. It's a screamy little prop on the goose, need a bit more. <laughs> Lots of throws and uh, should try a loop. Should do a loop really nicely with the all flying elevator. Beautiful. This is cool. Flying well. You can just see the screen in this bright sunshine. <laughs> I found programming up the radio was, was very good. Quite intuitive, even though it's a colour screen and I'm not really used to the colour screens. I always use the black and white screens usually, uh, but I could program them up uh, an INAV set up quite easily. No dramas. Let's go for a fly. We're on Express LRS, so we've got ridiculous amounts of range. Should be getting a good view up on the tail of the goose. Yeah, I like this radio. I think uh, Fly Sky is on a winner. It's going to be um, compar comparable to the Radio Master Zorro. Much of the same functions, inputs, switches, and things. Doesn't have Oh, it does have two position, one two position switch, I suppose. Uh, but plenty of momentary switches that you can program up to do whatever you want. This is going very nicely indeed. That rudder is <laughs> extremely active. I could tone that down a lot. So yeah, I think this radio is good. Uh, Fly Sky Pro Art PA01. It's um, certainly in the mix for a very good FPV radio, quads, planes, whatever you want.
nice little travel radio too, nice and light. See if we can plonk it down. Oh, bang, there we go. Oh well, we're down. There you go. Nice little radio from Fly Sky. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.